Hello everyone. So today I want to talk about uh, a problem, which is not really a problem, but it is a bit annoying thing in uh, in Jira. And it is not really about uh, Jira itself, but uh, this is some, this is something that I encounter quite regularly. Now, let us say you have an epic, or let us say you are using uh, the hierarchy in Jira. But Epic is, of course, a simple example. And if you open one of the Epic in Jira, you can always see that your Epic is, uh, if it is part of, or maybe if a story is part of an Epic or if, if the Epic itself uh, is uh, something where you may have 10, 20 stories. For example, if I show you, this is my Epic, right? Which is basically backend API. Now in this Epic, I do have some uh, issues called uh, child issues and these epics or this epic has stories or bugs. Now the thing is, in Jira, you can of course have uh, this parent link field to use uh, basically uh, stories under an epic or epic under let us say a feature if you're using advanced roadmaps. But the thing is that it can be a bit confusing sometimes and uh, a bit more confusing to be honest. Uh, because you can always use uh, issue linking, which is absolutely different from uh, using the parent-child uh, uh, relationship using the parent link field. For example, if I look at the same epic, I can always uh, create uh, the links or issue links. And I can say here that this epic is, let us say, a parent of another uh, issue. So I can basically create uh, this uh, particular uh, link and it says here that this epic this epic is a parent of another task now this is actually confusing and uh, i as a jira consultant we as a jira administrators we know about it right because uh, we know how it works but for majority of people who are maybe new to jira or maybe i'm just assuming but i guess my assumption is that a lot of people get confused because they ask me they ask me ravi i have this epic where I had uh, stories and uh, those stories are uh, not really appearing where I want them to appear. So can you please help me? And I just look at, okay, uh, so my first question, because I when, when people ask me questions, I normally ask them, okay, can you please show me your epic? And when they show me the epic, they, they tell me, okay, there is uh, this uh, task or a story under this epic. And I immediately stop them. That, this is not the right way of doing it. If you want your uh, your your stories to be part of an epic, you have to use, uh, of course, if you're using advanced roadmaps with multiple levels on top of epic, then of course you have to use the parent link field. But if you're talking about epic and stories, then you have to use the epic link field. So epic link field or parent link field is something that you need to use when it comes to building this structure or hierarchy. Uh, but at the same time, uh, people, if they're not really sure about it, uh, the, the, the usage of the linking, they can also use this issue linking and uh, this can cause problems because uh, it is of course not consistent number one if you're using this issue linking then it will not really work the way you want it to work in your backlog or act or maybe your active sprints because this is not really a, a way to this is not really the hierarchy that you want to build or you should have in jira based on the epic link or parent link field so i i think there is no solution to this. I mean, you can always go to your issue link and you can rename it to something else, which is, I, I'm, I'm not really sure if it is the right thing to do uh, because uh, it has its own purpose, but it can be a bit confusing to be honest, to have this parent child, is parent of, is child of uh, inward and outward description for the, for the parent uh, child issue link. So what I think should happen it should be the responsibility of the project managers or scrum masters to ensure that they monitor their epics because they own the epic or basically someone who actually owns the epic or responsible for delivery because epic can be owned by the product uh, owners but epic can also be owned by the scrum masters project managers when the delivery is in progress so some so, so the current owner of the epic has to ensure that their epic is clean <laughs> And uh, if they're using issue links instead of epic link, they should not. And that is it. That is all I wanted to talk about in this video. I know a short video, but these things are quite 
quite important when it comes to using Jira. All right, that is it. That is it for today. I hope you found this video useful and you learned something new. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.